Let's start with manual provision of a mobile pass plus token to an end user. Select the target user, select provision, select mobile pass from the list of available authentication methods, and select provision to confirm. This will generate an email to the end user who will then view that email on his or her mobile device. The user will read the information on screen and tap the link to proceed to token enrollment. This will work whether the app is installed or not. In this case it is, so the user will click the or tap on the link in this email, tap open, select and confirm a PIN code and then select whether or not to substitute that PIN with biometrics. This is based on policy. Enrollment is now complete. End user experience. Let's look at that. So the end user will click login. Based on push technology now, there will be a notification on screen. The user taps that, taps approve, provides the fingerprint or face ID, and authentication happens in the background is seamless and the user has access. Let's do the same thing with Google Authenticator. So select the target user, select provision, select this time Google Authenticator from the list. Select provision to confirm an email is generated. The user will now view that email on his or her desktop. Click the link, bring up his or her cell phone, open the Authenticator app, and scan the QR code displayed on the desktop browser. That will generate an OTP. The user will input that OTP to confirm and enrollment is now complete. Let's look at end user experience. Click login. We have to now manually input the OTP generated on the device. 